To create realistic materials in Blender, you have to remember two things. First, the normal is correlated to roughness, and second, the specular is correlated to base color. Now, I know there are millions of materials out there, and those rules are not absolute, but in general, they should give you a very nice result when working on shaders and textures. So, I already have this very simple setup here. I'm gonna be using Arway Wood Flooring Textures, which can be downloaded from free from the Chocofor store. And this is the kind of surface we are gonna be trying to recreate. So I'm gonna disconnect the diffuse color right now and I'm gonna show you the correlation between the normals and the roughness. I'm gonna add bump vector node and I'm gonna connect the bump here as a height and those two normal inputs here. So by adding the bump node, we are gonna define the surface imperfections and we need to reduce the value significantly to have more realistic results. So what you can see right now are the divisions between the boards and the areas of the wooden floor, which should be a little bit uh, more rough in touch. And this already brings us to the roughness values. So since the bump defines the surface imperfections, the cracks, the scratches and damages, the roughness will also uh, be correlated with those values because usually where you have those scratches and indentations, the roughness values will be higher. So let's fine tune the bump by decreasing the distance and the strength a little bit more. And now let's modify this input here. So what I like doing is using the diffuse color as a roughness input. Let's connect it. But by default, you can see we need to invert the color we have here as the cracks have much sharper reflections than the upper surfaces. I'm going to use the color invert node for that. And this already looks much better. But still, I'm going to add converter and color ramp node to fine tune the roughness of the reflections. So I'm gonna change the interpolation to B-spline and use one of the handles or both of them to fine tune the look of my reflections. If I change the camera angle, you can see uh, the reflection difference uh, differences, they correlate to the bump. So this area, for instance, seem, seems to have more of the bump and the reflections here are also less sharper than in those flat and kind of untouched areas like here, for example. What I'm gonna do now is matching the diffuse color with the specular values. So I'm gonna disconnect everything. I'm gonna plug in the color input here. And in general, when you're creating a shader, the darker areas have less reflections than the brighter areas. You can see it in the video right now, the black color surface generates darker reflections than the white surface. So this also applies to our wooden shader. This applies in general to many materials, not to all of them, but you can use it as a rule of thumb when creating your shaders. Here by our way, we have the roughness map provided as well. So I'm going to plug it into the specular input here. And by default, you can see without the roughness map, without the bump, we also get this very nice effect where the cracks between the boards, they seem to have no reflections and the darker values within the wood, they have the same roughness, but the reflection color is a little bit darker. I will now plug in back all of the inputs that I've prepared and see the overall look of the texture. So this is the effect we are having right now. We might try to adjust the roughness a little bit more. And if you want to increase the contrast within the specular input, we can use the gamma node for that. In my opinion, it does the best trick. So if we increase the value of gamma, you can see the contrast of this texture input increases. In general, I like using the value of 1.5. So yeah, follow those two very easy rules. Remember that 
base color is linked with specular and the roughness is linked with normal and your shaders will look much, much better. If you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy the other ROA textures materials created for Blender, Cycles and EV rendering engines. You can get them from the Chocofor store together with over 1800 other assets created exclusively for Blender. Thanks everyone for watching, thank you for your support and see you in another Chocofor video. Bye bye.